Hi guys, it's Rihanna the Math Person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this problem, I'll be going over question 104 on SOA exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, as some of your attempted, let's just dive right in. So in this question, they give you this thingy and we don't know what K is, but it's pretty easy to find out what K is because we know this is a distribution function on the interval 0 to 1, 0 to 1, 4, X and Y. So basically that's just 0 to 1, 0 to 1 for K, X, DX, DY, and all probability integrated on their interval has to add up to 1. So this must be equal to 1. Taking this integral in terms of X, you get X squared K over 2 integrating from 0 to 1. So you get k over 2, integrating this from 0 to 1, dy. Then you get k over 2, y, integrating this from 0 to 1. So then this is equal to k over 2 is equal to 1. So then, then that means k must be equal to 2. Then in this question, they ask you to find the covariance of x and y. So if you don't have this memorized, I definitely recommend you should. This is equal to the expectation of x and y minus the expectation of x times the expectation of y. Alright, so then expectation of x and y, this is equal to integrated from the same range 0 to 1, 0 to 1. k is equal to 2, x, that's our function now, um, dx, dy. But the thing is, we have to multiply by x and y, so let me... So that's going to be equal to 2x, right, times x and y. So it's going to be 2x squared y. Do you agree? Because now k is equal to 2, so our function is going to be 2x. So then this is going to be integrated from dx to dy. So taking this integral in respect to x, you get x cubed 2 thirds y, where x is equal going from 0 to 1. So then this is equal to integrating 0 to 1 for y. 2 third y dy. So then this is equal to y squared 1 third going from 0 to 1. So then this must be equal to 1 third. Okay, not too bad. How about for expectation of x? Well, the range is going to be the same, or the interval is still going to be the same. But instead of multiplying by x, y, you're going to just multiply it by x dx dy. Taking the integration in terms of x, you get x cubed 2 thirds going from 0 to 1. This is equal to 0 to 1 dy for 2 thirds. Then this is just equal to 2 thirds y integrating from 0 to 1. So this is equal to 2 thirds. Ooh, baby. All right, last one, expectation of y. So this is going from 0 to 1. The range is interval is still the same. But instead of multiplying by x or x and y, we multiply just by y, dx, dy. So integrating respect to x. Everything else is a constant, so this becomes x squared y, integrating x from 0 to 1. So then this is equal to integrating 0 to 1, y minus 0, so that's just y, dy. So then this is equal to y squared, 1 half, integrating from 0 to 1, we, so you get 1 half. Because the lower limit all just gives you 0. So then putting it back in our covariance formula, covariance of x, y is equal to expectation of x, y minus expectation of x times expectation of y. Ex um, um, expectation of x, y is we find was one third minus two thirds times one half. So this is equal to one third minus two six, which is equal to zero. So covariance basically just measures the relationship between x and y. So when covariance is equal to zero, that means the relationship is independent. So x and y are independent. So if you notice from the get-go that to, um, this function is independent, then you can just automatically say, oh, the covariance must be zero. But if not, you can just take the long way. The integration is not too bad. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!